Are you all fine? Are you all staying at home safely? Do not go outside unnecessarily. Okay? And follow all the instructions from our health department to stay safe so that we can prevent ourselves from getting infected. Did you go through your textbook? Have you seen what are our chapters we are going to deal with? I hope you have gone through it, covered your textbook, notebook and all set for this year. Don't worry about what is happening around you. You concentrate on your studies, your daily activities. Okay, so are you eating properly or having healthy food, not junk food? Since you are sitting simply at home without doing any much activities, I don't think you will be eating very healthy foods. All those snacks, small break time snacks will be the ones which you will be having more, right? So, what about your breakfast? At what time do you people get up? Do you get up too early? Or it becomes around noon? When you get up, 10, 11? Okay, so your parents might have prepared a breakfast for you and kept. And you will have different types of breakfast every day. Do you have the same breakfast every day or do you have different items? Each day you have a menu for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, different menus. You might be having different menu, right? And if your mother prepares the same dish the next day, what do you will say? Oh, today also the same dish. Right? Hmm. Okay. So, did you ever think or have you ever entered into the kitchen and seen your mother preparing? mother or father preparing the dishes have you checked it out how it is being prepared did you try any new things from the kitchen helping your parents hmm you tried right okay what do we use for cooking what are the main things that we use for cooking what all do we need we need certain raw materials, right? We need certain things to cook food, right? What things do we use? Okay, suppose, let us take some examples for breakfast. Uh, mostly, we have for breakfast, what do we have? We have steam cakes, or we'll have uh, idli, dosha. Do you know what are those made of? Any idea, any clue of what they are made of? Yeah, some of them are made of rice, right? Rice powder. Hmm, where does this rice come from? Who makes rice? Or from where do we get it? We get it from the paddy fields, right? So in this chapter, we will be dealing about from where do we get the food? The food that we eat, where does it come from? That is what we'll be dealing in this chapter. Okay, so let us take the first example. Like as I told, let us take for example, idli. The batter with which we are making idli is made from rice. We need rice, we need water and we need salt for making the batter of idli. What are all these things called? The things added to make a food item is termed as ingredients. The things added to make a food item, that means to make idli, what and all was required, rice was required, water was required, salt was required. Anything else was required then to make idli? Yes. One more thing is required over there. Why don't you people just go ask your mother and find it out what is that special ingredient to be added for preparing idli. Do it. Let it be a homework for you people. Go ask your mother how is it, the batter for idli prepared. Okay. Make sure you do it. You ask your mother and find it out and just note it down in your textbook. Okay. So the things added to make a food item is what we call as ingredients. We use different ingredients for preparing different types of food items. For example, you are going to make a chicken curry. What and all ingredients would you require? You would require chicken, you would require certain spices, 
will require a lot of vegetables, right? Onion, tomato, you'll be requiring chili, green chili, chili powder. So the things added, those things which were added to make the chicken curry is termed as ingredients, the ingredients of the curry, of that particular curry. Fine, I hope that term is clear for you, ingredients. Okay, now from where do we get these ingredients? What is the source of those ingredients? We have two sources of ingredients. It can be man source or animal source. The ingredients coming from plants or the ingredients coming from animals. Let us start with the ingredients coming from a plant. Sources of food from plants. What do we get from plants? What do we get from plants? Give me some examples. Yeah, we get vegetables, we get fruits, we get certain seeds, pulses, cereals, all these comes from plants. And the animal sources, the food products coming from animals. Yes, we have milk, meat, egg, cheese, butter, honey, all these comes from animals. So let us see first plant source. Now if you take the structure of a plant, you have already studied structure of a plant, right? It has a leaf, it has a stem, it has a flower, it will be having a fruit, it is having a root, it is having nodes and internodes. You can see there's a structure in your textbook, the same structure which you can see over here. Each part of a plant can be eaten, not of every plant. For example, you take a plant one, maybe the leaf of that particular plant can be eaten. You take plant two, maybe the fruit of that plant can be eaten. So plant parts are providing ingredients for food, food items. Okay. Give me some examples. Let us take the first one. First part. Leaf. Which plant's leaf can we eat? Yeah. Spinach. Cabbage. Then what else? Anything else? Whose leaves? The one main thing that we always add to our curries. Yeah. Curry leaves. It is also edible. It is also a leaf. It is edible. Coriander leaves. There are medicinal leaves too. Uh, leaves which are having medicinal value. Tulsi is one best example for that. Mint is another example. Okay. Let us move on to the next part. Stem. Name some stems that can be eaten. Sugar cane. Bamboo shoots. Banana. The shoot of the banana. Then... Any other things? Anything coming up? What about potato? Which category does it come into? Stem or a root? Stem or a root? Potato is actually a tuber. Tuber. T-U-B-E-R. Tuber. It is a modified stem. Though we always mistake it for a root, it is a modified stem. Okay? I hope that is clear. Let us move on to the next part. We have the leaf is over, the shoot, the stem is over. Then what do we have? The flower. Let us start with the flower. Yeah, flower. Some flowers that can be eaten. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower. Banana flour can be eaten. Then let us move down to the root. Some roots that can be eaten. Carrot, radish, turnip. What about onion? Onion comes under which category? Any idea? Any idea? Onion. Why don't we check it out? Onion comes under which category? Okay? So that was about the roots. Now what's the next part? Yeah, you get vegetables and fruits also from plants. 
Next thing that we get from plants, seeds. Seeds are also plant products. Also cereals. Now in this picture you can see there are sprouts. Sprouting, sprouts. What are sprouts? Sprout is or sprouting is the first stage of germination. Sprouts are also products from plants that are healthy and can be used as food diet. And the normal things that we have for our food like green gram, groundnut, all these things are plant products. Now, when you saw the structure of the plant, did you see there is uh, two parts mentioned, node and internode. Like you can see in this picture, node and internode. Can you see that? What is a node? A node is the portion of the stem from which the leaf arises. And the space in between the two nodes is termed as internode. Inter, in between, inter internode okay is it clear i hope the plant products is clear there are many edible parts of a plant leaf stem uh, root flower fruit vegetable seeds clear okay now let us move to the animal sources poultry from the poultry what do we get egg Chicken, your favorite thing, right? Meat, let us uh, categorize it into meat. Then cheese, butter, curd, milk, all these comes from animals. So these are certain animal products, okay? Honey, honey is one product that we get from animals. Animals in the sense, honey is got from honeybees, right? Now, can you tell me what's the difference between nectar and honey? Is there any difference? Are, are both same? No, both are not the same. And nectar is a sweet liquid which is taken from the flower. And that nectar is then stored as honey by the honeybees. So the honeybees go to a flower, they collect the nectar, they take it back to their beehive and they start processing it over there. And it becomes honey. It is that honey that we are getting as an animal product. Clear? Okay. So what do these animals eat? Or can we categorize animals on the basis of the food that they eat? Yes. They are categorized into three. Herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. Herbivores are the animals that feed on plants. Carnivores are the animals that feed on other animals or on meat. Omnivores are the animals that feed on both animals and plants. Let us see some examples. Herbivores, cow, goat. Carnivores, cat, dog, lion, tiger. Omnivores, we. We are best examples for omnivores. We eat both plants and animals. I hope that topic is clear for you. So make sure you read your textbook thoroughly. Check out whether you are getting, if you are not understood, any portion is not understood, make sure you give me a call and you clear it. Okay? Thank you.